Hi everybody and welcome to Mind Your Moments. This week I am joined by Steph, who's one of our UK account managers. And Steph, you're here to talk about what you got up to on Sunday, which to say I was jealous would be the understatement of the year. So where did you get to go on Sunday? Uh, I was very fortunate. I got to go to Silverstone to the British Grand Prix. So uh, yeah, it was fantastic. And watch Lewis Hamilton win. No, I yes. shouldn't. I shouldn't. He's, he doesn't race for Aston Martin, so I shouldn't celebrate him. But um. <laughs> yeah, that was the icing on the cake. Obviously, we don't mention the football, but it, something else came home. So, yeah, it was great. We we're very fortunate to watch it. It was fantastic. Brilliant. And the reason, obviously, I've brought Aston Martin up is Aston Martin F1 team are our 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 our, our uh, one of our partners. We're a technical partner of theirs, rather. They're a customer of ours. And so you went along courtesy of them. So I just wondered whether you could give everybody a little bit of insight into what you got up to during the day. Yeah, no, so absolutely. Uh, one of our partners and customers. Um, so yeah, uh, we went to their factory. Um, so out on the lawn um, with several other people. <laughs> uh, took um, quite a few customers with us as well. Uh, we had a fantastic day, beginning to end. Uh, we couldn't have been more lucky with the weather. Um, yeah. And just, you know, the whole experience was fantastic. So there was the vintage uh, Aston Martins there, there was new models, there was uh, kind of safety cars, there, there, was, there was something for everyone, uh, including a, a simulator. So um, it got a little bit competitive, um, as well as uh, a change in the tyre. So uh, we had Team Purple Rain, who gave it a good go, but um, we didn't quite get the top spot. <laughs> that was fantastic. And then obviously we went over to the grandstand for the actual race. Um, and we couldn't have been more fortunate actually with with the tickets we had in the grandstand because it was a nice breeze um, yeah. given that it was 30 plus degrees uh, a little bit yeah a little bit hot <laughs> but it was fantastic yeah we had a great day yeah, I'm sure the drivers thought where am I it's normally raining isn't it at the British Grand Prix I, at least I don't know how many layers they were wearing I, I mean I assume they had some nice cool air <laughs> uh, you know blowing on them but uh, yeah it was a, a sweltering to say the least yeah I went I think back in maybe 2018, anyway, a while ago with um, with my dad, in fact, and it was so cold, it was July, that I was really grateful when I realized I had my gloves still in my coat pocket. So I sat there in July in the UK with my gloves on. So it's probably fair to say the weather was on this Sunday was a bit oh, different. You never know what you're gonna but, get. It's part yeah. of a living room. <laughs> and I won't ask you to talk about the cars in particular or the vintage or any of the other Aston Martin cars. <laughs> they were very but, beautiful. <laughs> but we can talk a bit about obviously how we work with with Aston Martin and the benefits obviously that a Formula One team get from software yeah. such as IFS and I think for me obviously it comes into real clarity this year with the cost cap introduction and the fact that actually any of these teams at any point could be audited by the FIA and yeah. at that moment they need to have access to all of their data to be able to share with the FIA to prove that they know exactly what they've spent where they've spent it um, and obviously make sure that audit trail is is accurate um, and I know it's one of the I guess key components and one of the things that I love most about Formula One is that they just do everything at such pace um, so you know if they're going to change something they will change it in a weekend in a week and obviously again it's just having that ability to access that data and I know you talked about it a bit because you took over our, our Instagram and LinkedIn stories on Sunday, but just didn't know whether you had any other kind of insight that you, you were able to share. Yeah, no, absolutely. It, it's um, I guess that's where we come in to partner with Aston Martin. So we're giving them that complete visibility, audibility, like you said, and just having everything at their fingertips. So allowing them to get parts and cars quicker, for instance, uh, you've already mentioned that the cost cap. Um, just generally, you know, we want them to focus on what they do best which is obviously winning as opposed to worrying about the back office and you know have we got the right thing in the right place it's all about kind of fine-tuning the performance and making it as fast as possible and hopefully you know that's that's exactly our sweet spot and where we can help add add the value and, and kind of allow them to get the most out of the solution to achieve those goals so um yeah i mean yeah that's exactly why why we've partnered with with them why you know we, we between the two companies we work obviously very well together um and long may it continue brilliant well on behalf of myself thank you very much for watching on behalf of steph thanks thanks for joining and obviously um hopefully steph if you're going to go anywhere else you were absolutely awesome can i just say doing the stories so i think you've got a job for life if you're not careful um, you're coming <laughs> <from> Helen, <surely. laughs> yeah. thanks everybody for watching and we will see you next week bye